we're actually starting our real mish, the, the reason we came down here, uh, our camping trip. I think it's about a couple hour boat ride down to these little islands. You have to camp on the island that we're going to. It's just it's so remote. There's no hotel, no hostel, no nothing. It's just out in the middle of nowhere. And it's a long ways out, a long boat ride. So there really isn't, there's no other option but to stay and camp for a couple days if you really want to get the waves good. <laughs> In the morning time, could be tuna fish, or maybe the local dish, found a trog in the early morning. <laughs> I definitely didn't expect to see people like waiting for us as we were arriving, you know? I was expecting us to be in the middle of nowhere with no human beings around and we were going to just basically be roughing it. And it ended up where <laughs> there was all these indigenous people that lived on the island that were super cool. Come on, this one. It's going to leave a turkey here. They were definitely taken in by the fact that we were always, you know, complete foreigners. This is my uh, board caddy. <laughs> I was just like itching to see waves. I just wanted to see surf. Sure enough, started seeing waves right away. There's actually, look at that right down the beach right there. That's such a peak right there. I think making your little fort. I think that's like the funnest thing about camping. I haven't slept on the ground in a while either. I think the last time I slept on the ground I was 16 and I was puking and I drank too much at high school. 